Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at the Grail Games 2024 card game collection. This collection includes Tango, Bottle Imp, Millions of Dollars, and 101. Let's take a deeper dive into four of these games, what they're all about, and I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards. Let's start out with Tango. Tango is a trick-taking card game, part of the Grail Games 2024 card game collection. This is a two-player only card game, where the players go head-to-head -head on the dance floor. The players will play up to three sets, a winner is declared as soon as they win two sets. What makes Tango unique from other trick takers is that apart from each player having their own set of cards in hand, they'll also have a display of cards on the table in front of them as well, which acts as their second card to play during each trick. The cards on the display consist of one row of five cards with a stack of two cards in each stack. The bottom card is face down, and is only flipped face up once the card on top gets played. The loser after each trick also gets to change the dance style card that's in the middle which acts as the trump suit. With a card from their hand, this allows for some really interesting plays throughout the game. The round or set ends once all players have played all of their cards in hand and on their display for a total of 10 tricks. The winner of the round would be the player with the most points. Now let's take a look at, at Bottle Imp. The beloved trick-taking game Bottle Imp is back with an exciting new addition. This version introduces team modes and accommodates 5-6 to six players, expanding the original 2-4 to four player setup. Drawing inspiration from Robert Louis Stevenson's novel, players compete to acquire a cursed bottle that grants wishes, but they must offload it before the game concludes. Score points by winning tricks, but be cautious. If you end the game with the bottle, the Bottle Imp will take your points away. Like many trick thinking games, the goal of Bottle Imp is to gather the most points, but with a unique twist. The highest card doesn't always win the trick. The player with the highest card that remains below the Bottle Imp's value wins the trick and the bottle. The value of the Bottle Imp then drops to match that winning card. Ownership shifts among players until the value can no longer be undercut. At the game's end, whoever holds the bottle imp receives negative points instead of positive ones. Now let's take a look at Millions of Dollars. The super fun party game Millions of Dollars is back with an exciting second edition. This revamped version features brand new and old roll cards as well as refined rules that enhance the gameplay experience. Now you can enjoy the fun with up to 9 players, expanding beyond the original 3 to 8 player setup. In this fresh edition, you'll find stunning new artwork, a larger player count, and simplified rules that promote engaging conversations and strategic negotiations. Dive into this hidden identity game where players choose their roles and compete to amass the most wealth. Plan daring heists at iconic locations and luxurious casinos while ensuring you grab the lion's share of the loot. Millions of Dollars thrives on bluffing, cunning, and negotiation, leaving luck out of the equation. Players will secretly select their role and create temporary alliances, employing any tactics necessary to outwit their soon-to-be traitorous partners. Only those who manage to pull off their, the, the heist will get to split the spoils. The game wraps up after 5 heists, with the player who has accumulated the most cash crown the winner. Alternatively, if a player reaches 50 million, the game ends instantly. Now let's take a look at 101. 101 is an abstract strategy card game that combines hand management and area control mechanics. The game is designed by David Harding and is published by Grail Games. This is the game's third edition. It is primarily a two-player card game, although a solo mode is also available. In the two-player version, each player uses an identical 16-card deck, taking on the roles of either 0 or 1. Players play cards to a program display, aiming to control lines of program code, each worth a specific number of points. Once the program runs, points are calculated to determine the winner. Most cards feature, feature commands that affect cards in play, the order and positioning of the cards played by each player significantly influence the game's outcome, alongside each player's ability to adapt their strategies as the programming code evolves. 
The game concludes in one of two ways. One, after the third card is played to the 50 program line next to the run card. Or two, when a player attempts to draw cards from the depleted deck at the end of their turn and cannot replenish their hand to three cards. Tango is a really fun trick taker. With all of the recent hype and the amount of card games and especially trick taking games that have been releasing, Tango definitely stands out. There aren't many good card games in this genre of games that work very well at two players, although Tango really shines. The gameplay has got a good amount of depth to it, and especially with the little amount of information you get from the cards that are displayed on the table. After all, it does take two to Tango, but only one dancer will stand tall in this game. Bottle Imp is one of the best card games that I've had the pleasure of playing this year. From the trick taking, the hot potato mechanics, sneaky and thinky plays, it packs all of that gaming goodness in one very sweet package. Millions of dollars per is perfect for those who love bluffing and negotiation. This game is a guaranteed hit, especially with groups of 6 or more players. 101 is a fun abstract strategy card game that combines hand management and area control mechanics. I had a good time with this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and until the next one. Peace.